Hi YouTube, this is Jonathan at the Piano Lesson. Um, super hot today, it's over 100 degrees, going to be over 100 degrees tomorrow. That's Fahrenheit for you folks over in Europe. You're so lucky that you have Celsius because the numbers are so much lower. Wish we had Celsius. Anyway, um, I thought uh, it would, I touched on the subject last week, kind of making your own customized scales. You know, we're all used to playing scales and learning scales and major scales and minor scales and this scale and that scale and all kind of out of a box, kind of prefabricated for us. But wouldn't it be nice if we could make our own scales uh, based on our own unique uses? And wouldn't it be nice to kind of know why these scales are constructed and how? And, you know, why do you want to know scales anyway? What's the whole point? Well, the point is they're the raw materials that we use to uh, make music. And, you know, when you're making music, you really don't have time to think. It's like playing basketball. It's like a sport. You just, you have to do it. You can't really think about it so much. Um, <clears throat> but uh, kind of touched on this point last week, because as I mentioned, it was the blues festival and we, we had the blues going on. We we're talking about our blues patterns, our one, four, five patterns. And typically we think about a blues scale, which I might, mention again today but you know it's it's really a lot there's a lot more to it than just playing a canned scale over a chord pattern usually you hear someone playing you know like a chord in in the left hand and then a, and then a chord in the right hand like that but um, there's more nuance to it you know uh, for you Barry Harris fans out there Barry Harris one of the great jazz pianists and, and piano teachers and music teachers, but you know, he had his own scale, all right? He had he had a scale which rather than just playing a major scale, he added one more note. Now why did he do that? Well he did that because to him it sounded more musical rhythmically and melodically. So rhythmically, one and two and three and four and one, you end on one, right? Rather than one and two and three and four and... That, that is actually, uh, oddly enough, uh, it's a major scale, but oddly enough, it's kind of jazzy because it ends on the weak beat. It ends on the end of four. Uh, if you look, that's why if you look at a lot of Bach, look at a lot of classical music, but particularly Baroque music, Bach never starts on one, ever. <laughs> I mean, I could just generalize and say in the left hand, he might start on one, he might go one and two and three and four and one. I mean, that's Bach, okay? One and two and three and four and one, right? Uh, there's, there's Somewhere out on YouTube, there's a video of Barry Harris raising his fist and screaming at Mozart, telling us that, you know, he, he lied to us, he led us astray, he gave us the wrong scale. <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Uh, but, but melodically, uh, it does sound more melodic. It adds some dissonance and tension. And harmonically, too, it also implies a key modulation to the relative minor. It's one, four, five of six, five, one. That's really how the scale functions. You have that G sharp in there. C, D, E, F, G, G sharp, A, B, C. The G sharp is the third of this E chord, which is the five of one, two, three, four, five, A minor. What did I do? Huh. Okay, that's the relative minor of, of C. So, so he had his own reasoning behind it. And also, um, you could harmonize all of those chords and there was an element of chromaticism in them. Usually when we have a major scale and then we harmonize that scale like with triads, C, C F and G are major, D, E, A are minor, B is diminished, but those are chords, right, that we make using exclusively notes from the major scale. Those refer to as diatonic. Um, if you use his method, you know, you you will eventually, um, well, you could do this, you could do that, but what he does is he adds a sixth for color, okay, and he, he, he keeps the melody note on top, so that's an inversion. So he has a, 
inversions of the VI chord, which eventually become the minor, the A minor, and then he has the other, the other chords that fill in. So there's one, two, three, four diatonic chords, if you will, um, including the A minor chord. And then, uh, but these are effectively root position, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion, which is the A minor. And then the other chords, he doesn't use diatonic, he makes them all chromatic, he makes them diminished. D diminished, F diminished, A flat or G sharp diminished, B diminished, and then he interlaces the two. So he goes uh, diatonic, chromatic, diatonic, chromatic, diatonic, chromatic, diatonic, chromatic, diatonic. So that's, and it's following those, it's following that scale. What I'm doing now is called voicing a chord. Voicing in this this context refers to how I'm playing the melody note louder and the other notes softer. That's that's really uh, how one typically would, would play the piano so you can hear those two levels of sound and I might even come up with a fingering where I could actually connect those those notes. I might even start with four, let's say four, five, and then switch to four. You know, I'd figure out a fingering where I can actually make all those legato, that might be interesting. But, um, so, so we touched on last week making a scale using the, the, I'm going to switch my cameras here, and using our, for, for, for blues, right, F7, B flat 7, and C7, that would be 1, 4, and 5, okay? And uh, I want to do this in the treble clef, so sorry about you bass players out there, I could do it in bass clef too if you like, but um, let's see if i got a better pen here. My pens are kind of drying out. Let's, maybe, I, maybe I'll start a new one. Why don't I start a new pen? Let's start a, a whole new pen here. Um, got, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do the staff again then. All right, with my brand new pen, I'm going to start fresh. Let's see, F7. Yeah, oh, look at that. Holy smokes, that is so much better. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And here's our F7, F, A, C, E, flat, right? Those are skips, okay? B flat, D, F, A, flat, right? C, E, G, B, flat, okay. Um, so that's our one, four, and five. These are all seven. That's the unique thing about, ja uh, about the blues. Right now, um, F A C E flat. Right, um, we already have. We got a B flat here. Let's keep that B flat. All right, we got a D here. Let's keep that D. We have an F here. Well, we got an F down there. That's that's the same. That's the same note. B flat, D F A flat. So uh, I, I could use that again uh, for my for my top note. Maybe I'll just keep that, and then. Um, there's an A flat over here. So I want that A flat, but I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to kind of put my A flat, my A flat right down there. So, so far now I have this and I have this A flat, right? And uh, I have uh, this uh, B flat and this D and this F. So it's going to sound like this. So there's a scale just using those two chords. Let me play that again. Um, F, A, C, E flat, right? B flat, D, F, A flat. No G. And I left out a note earlier if you didn't catch that. F, A flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, right? So no E naturals in there, okay? See that? Uh, no B naturals, all right, but there will be because here um, we have C's. That's 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 redundant. Okay, we don't need the C. We've got that already. But the E, we could really use an E, and we'll take we'll take that E and we'll you know kind of stick it over there, and then we got we have a G here, uh, and we could we could use that. We don't need to be flat, all right, because we already got one. But we have this G, and we're going to stick stick that G down here so it could be part of our 
our scale, okay? Uh, now, if I wanted to, let's just say I just wanted a scale with B flat and C7. Well, what would that sound like? Well, I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> um, so we would we would have um, B flat, C, uh, D. There's no be no E flat, uh, but there would be an E natural, and there'd be an F, G, A flat, B. Oh, and any natural. Right, because it, no, no, a natural, no, a natural, no, a natural. I got a little confused for a second. Um, I'll do that again. So we have B flat, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B flat, and then we'd end with C. Okay, so let's do that. A, uh, B flat, I'll play, I'm going to play, I'll play it here. B flat, C, D, uh, no E flat, just E natural, E, e natural, F, G, B flat, uh, A flat, B flat, A natural. Why A natural? No A nat no A natural. See, I'm messing up. No, just keep the B flat in it. There's no A natural, right? It would just, you'd have that flat. Interesting little scale, isn't it? interesting okay let's play it one more time just to kind of get that in our ear here B flat C D E natural F G A flat B flat this note these notes and these notes did I did I miss anything I don't think so I don't think so no B natural right D E natural, F, G, A flat, B flat. All right, that's just for that. Just encompasses these, these, these two. Now, if we put them all together, and I'll write it all out in a minute. Um, in fact, why don't I just write it out right now? I'm going to write out the scale. What the scale would look like with all four sets combined. Okay, um, so we have F, A, C. E flat, F, A, C, E flat. Right. We have B flat, D, F, A flat. I'm gonna and I'm gonna write that B flat, D, F. We'll, we'll have an F at the top. That'll be nice. And the A flat, we will also have right here. Right. So I have an A flat and then an A natural. Okay. Um, right. And then. C C, E, G, B flat. Well, the, we have a, uh, oh, see, you didn't, you didn't catch my mistake. You didn't, you didn't catch my mistake. F, A, C, yeah. F, A, C, E flat, F, I'll write them in. F, A, C, maybe I should write it next to the note. What do you think? A, C, uh, E flat, all right, and then over here, B flat, D, F, and then the A flat is down here. So let's 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 put the A flat, A flat, okay, A flat, and then A natural, right? So, so we have right, we have that, and then C. So we have our C, E, e natural, all right? That's going to go E flat, E natural, E flat, E natural, C, E, G, right? We have a... Um, We have a, what was I going to say? Yeah, C, E, G. The G is is uh, down here. That's our G. Or maybe I'll write it over here. A little easier to read. 
Okay, so C, E, G, B flat, right? Um, B flat we already have. G is there. The E natural is there. Okay, and uh, we'll write that. I'm gonna write that E natural over here. Maybe a little bit easier. E natural. Okay, and uh, the B flat we already have. So here's here's what it sounds like. Okay, you ready? F, G, A flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, E natural, F. That's the scale. How many notes is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine. That's nine notes. So we, we have kind of a, we went from seven notes with the major scale, seven notes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eight, right? Then we did this, one, two, three, four, five, uh, trump. That's our Barry Harris scale, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine notes. Well, this is this is nine notes too, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's ten. <laughs> eight, nine, ten. I missed the D. How is that possible? Very clever. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. There's your there's your scale. Two groups. How about that? I'm kind of doing this on the fly in case you guys haven't figured that out. One, two, three, four, five. All right? And then one, two, three, four, five. All right? Five sets of sets of five five notes. And rhythmically that sounds interesting. That's kind of like, you know. Right, one and two and uh, f three, four and five and oh, see, one and two and three, four rest, maybe one and two and three, rest. I mean that's that's rhythmically right. One and two, one and two and three. One and two and three. Now, I want you to notice something. Even though it's a group of five notes, one and two and three, it is bound by this perfect fourth. One and two and three. It's another perfect fourth. Okay. So, it's this, right? One and two and three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what do both of these have in common? Well, they're very similar, aren't they? But one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. They're very, they're basically a major scale. And likewise here. But they add the minor, the E flat. That's like a minor third in C. Or if it's in the key of F, it's a flat at seven. And likewise here, it's a minor third. It's we're adding this these two notes. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now that's kind of a cool scale. So you could take any major scale. Here's a C major scale. Here's your here's your two major tetrachords. You add in your minor third. Now, coming down, I'm not so sure it sounds uh, the same. It sounds equally well, but here's F7. Here's B flat 7. Here's C7. Now, it doesn't sound so hot when I do this. Not so great. This sounds a lot better. That doesn't sound as good. We'll address that later. Right? And then the F. That's not too bad, but it really wants to go to the C. That one sounds better going down. Not so great there. 
That sounds actually better, doesn't it? Or... Maybe. Maybe something like that. But... Um, here's a... I think in this instance, um, so in this instance, we could take a middle section of that scale and maybe um, kind of adjust it, reframe it a bit, take the same notes for the B flat. We could do. Um, we could play this. We could play this scale that we just played. But we could start on C. Now listen. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, or C. That, that sounds a little bit better. Uh, and you want to have those notes at your at your at your facility uh, in your fingertips when you're playing, okay? Notice I'm playing this B natural here, and that's kind of a, a, a an important note, kind of a magic note. That's our tritone. That's the one note that we really can't account for in the in the chords. C E, the F A C E flat. Right? There's no B there. B flat D F A flat. There's no B there. And C E G B flat. There's no B there. But that note that's not in the chord. That's really essential. So I'm going to add one more note in. All right. We're just kind of cooking, right? We're tasting the food as we cook, okay? Here's a B natural, okay? B natural, all right? What does that scale sound like? Now we got, a, we got how many notes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven notes, but all within this, all within this uh, perfect fifth, I'm going to, we're kind of re reframing this now, so we're getting rid of we're getting rid of our perfect fourth, okay, and we're we're uh, magic finger removes all the all this now. But now now we're we're going to go from F F G A flat A B B natural C. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a reframe it there, and then. We're gonna go. We're gonna go B flat to F. Also another perfect fifth. Two different scales. Now, what's the difference between them? Well, let's let's listen to them for a second. The this scale I would consider to be C O N J U N C T conjunct. Why? Well, because I am in effect I'm kind of overlapping the notes. You have B flat, B natural, C, right? This the, the notes right kind of right in there. They kind of overlap. The first scale you have a whole step. Second scale you have a half step. This is very similar. These are chromatic. Those are chromatic, but the main difference is the lower part of the scale. Here you have 
the whole step. Here, you have the half step, all right? Going down, not not so much liking it, but going up makes sense. And here's the C. Uh, I can keep using that. I could stay on that, or um, when I get to the C, I might, you know, do. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I could do one down here. Maybe here, um, I'm, uh, what, I'm, what I might do is I might go up a fourth again. That sounds interesting. I'm taking an element of this, taking an element of that scale. And... Uh, Kind of framing within the within the C. I'm reframing re the notes in the scale. That sounds more. That sounds better, right? So that, that's the scale with the whole step on the C7. That's with the half step. And I'm ending on the, the third there. Okay, well, um, I just wanted to share with you guys kind of how to experiment a little bit on your own. You know, uh, you can't have everything handed to you. And, and a lot of our practicing, you, you know, you're not going to necessarily sound as good as you had hoped, okay? I mean, it's, it's, a lot of it is experimenting again. So... You know, be brave and try stuff. And uh, some of it's going to sound good. Some of it's going to sound bad. Some of it's going to sound okay. But within it, you'll find you. You'll find your sound. Anyway, got to run. This is Jonathan at the piano lesson. Hope you had a good time. And uh, until we meet again, take care.